Hi there. I'm Phil Passantino for Delicious Detectives. We're here at Garfield, New Jersey at the famous or not so famous Shop Express where you can find the best home cooked Macedonian food that's currently being made in America. It's Shop Express on Belmont Avenue. Bravo. Let's film a little. Is that okay? All right. So this is a beautiful little deli here, owned by Zora and her husband. Just falls apart like, like what? What would be a good metaphor? <laughs> I can't think of it. It's all. It's just. It's very tense. Okay. Oh. Okay. Mm. Delicious. <laughs> it's the best. It's so good. That's all I can ever do when I eat it, is just out. nod. <laughs> it's so good. And some broccoli. Oh, both of them. This is arguably the best stuffed peppers that are currently being made in the world today. It's probably, there's no taste your stuffed pepper being cooked anywhere in the world than this right now. And where are you? I'm in Garfield, New Jersey. Dirty Jersey at Shop Express on Belmont Avenue, about two blocks from the Venetian. It's a secret hole in the wall places that delicious detectives specialized in. Words fail me at this time. All you can say is travel or some some Macedonian word. And then they give you a whole loaf of bread. This is all for about 425. Something that'll fill you up in a full loaf of bread. Okay, the bread, Macedonian food is specifically designed for the bread to sap up the sauce, which is very greasy and awesome. So without bread it would be nothing. It's that you need the bread to complete the Unbelievable. Every Tuesday at Shop Express, you can taste this extravaganza from 12 noon until it runs out, which could be 5 or 6 or sometimes even 3 o'clock. Okay, this is Banichka. 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 And it's uh, with the cheese inside. Oh, we make it with spinach or meat. It's right out of the it's oven? It's just right from the oven. Oh my yes. god. This is uh, oh, okay. you know the way how we roll it. You roll it out yes. and then it's like a ring. And then I uh, measure it. Uh-huh. Yes. And then I roll it again. And then the cheese is inside. And the cheese is inside. Yeah. Is that like a filo dough? It's like a filo dough, but I made the filo. You make the filo? Yes. And you, you I roll start, it out I every I day you make the this? flour from scratch. So, Oh my god, wow. It's intense. Sleep on the side. Wait, you gotta do better one. Wow, man. Wait, he's gonna do better one. This is serious here. 
you never seen this before? No. Right. I've eaten it. Huh? I, I ate it before. Have you ate it before? Yes. And this and, is, uh, is it lamb or beef? It's uh, beef, and sometimes we mix it with beef and lamb. Oh, so you grind it yourself and you mix it with yes. spices or something? Yes. So beautiful. Yeah. And then the, some people like it with the kaimak, mm -hmm. and some people like it with the ketchup and mayo. Mm. Yeah. It's like the Macedonian version of shish kebab here. It's called shish kebab. Or like that. And you just can take a little and dip it in the whatever that white stuff is called. What's it called again? That's my producer. What's the white stuff called again? Dobro, dobro. Super. Very good. Oh. Oh. So good. Stravo. 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 Si? Dobar. Oh. <laughs> Hvala. You hungry today? Yeah. Yeah. Moussaka. Moussaka. You want Moussaka today, huh? I think you came on the wrong day. Yeah, Moussaka is on Monday. No, Carol, Carol's going to taste the tomato, tomato. Mm. Wow. First, the flavor. <laughs> it's good. I never had chopped onions on my tomatoes. It's really, really good. Wow. You're Tina and you're Dan and you're the kids, right? Yeah. The traditional kind of, yeah, that one's Greek. Uh -huh. They're pretty much the same thing, but it's just this one's softer, the Bulgarian is softer, and the traditional is like a bit harder, and it's a little less saltier. So same just, type of uh, amp? Yeah. Yes. Sheep? Yes. Sheep? They're, they're sheep. All sheep. And what's this? Sharp Lanisco? This one is... Sharp Lanisco? Sharp Lanisco. Sharp Lanisco. Sharp yeah. Lanisco. Yeah. Okay. This one is also sheep, but it's a lot, like, I don't know. Silkier, I guess. Like it's the texture, very the texture is different than the traditional feta. It's left in the water longer, which gives it that that richer taste. I guess if you would, it's it's a little slightly saltier and slightly slightly silkier, like she said in the traditional feta. And mostly people use this in salads. Salads, they use it in baking the the my mom showed you okay, before. Yeah, okay. And then you have the cheeses over here. These are the kash kabal yeah. cheese. And that's for salads. That's yeah. for salads. Sandwiches. Where's that? Oh, here. The cash cabal cheese. Can we pull one of those out to get a good shot of it? These are really, you don't that's find these except yeah. in this kind of a place. A cash cabal cheese, that's used in uh, Bulgarian salads, yeah. and your, a tomato and cucumber salads. They grate it on top. Yeah, that's more like a provolone the, type of salad. The difference, you know, the provolone is thicker in texture, yes. all of that. Yeah. But it has a really nice 
I'm, I'm trying to think like a, a, the taste of it. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's like a smoky taste. Yes, yeah. yes. It's smo a smoky taste which really adds a lot to the salads. Now, these meats down here, Rebra and Slanina. The Rebra, which is ribs. Ribs. Yes, my father does those. Okay, he's a butcher. Okay. My dad's a butcher. They're smoked. They're, they're smoked. smoked. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the the Slanina, which is basically like bacon type of salad. Okay. All right, that's the kind of a breakfast bacon. Uh, so slanina. some people do it with breakfast. Some people do it just on the grill. Mm -hmm. They just take a, a bigger piece. They cook it on the grill, just like that. Uh, it, it's, you can eat it just like that. It's smoked good enough for you to eat just, just by itself. Oh, okay. This That's one is really good, Svinsky Vrat. Svinsky Vrat. I bought some That's of this the neck last of the time pork, I was here. Neck of the pig, I, bought, I think. I'm still yeah. eating it. It's in my fridge. It's so delicious. It's and I got some pecanica also. Yeah, that's, that's more like a tenderloin type of thing. Oh, pecanica? Pecanica? Pecanica. Pecanica. The C is a chunk. Svinsky Vrat is the, <clears throat> the, the, neck, yeah. the pork neck. Okay, and then you've got all kinds of sausages. Down. That's all homemade, my father Home does as well. Luti. Yeah. That and means that the, the, the one of them are hot, the other one are... are Oh, so luti is hot, hot. Yeah. and then, okay, and then the do, domasni kobasi. No, it's homemade. Oh, homemade. Oh, homemade. Home. Okay. Domasni kobasi. Oh, sounds good. And then ruska salata. Yeah, that's a salad. You have uh, you have egg inside there, pickles, ham, the kashkaval that you said, the, yeah. the, the cheese. Yeah, It's tomato, good. It's all mixed in so together. So it's a potato salad. It's similar. There's very little bit of potatoes in there. You don't even realize that the potatoes there. The, the, the other ingredients, the carrots, the pickles, all of that, it, you know, the, the potatoes you feel very slightly, so you wouldn't call it a potato salad. The Shupska salad originated from this. The tomatoes, the cucumbers, the onions, and the cheese sprinkled yeah. on top with oh, a little yeah. olive oil. It's, oh yeah, that's so good. So you have the same thing? We have the same thing, yeah. So some people, when they order what you guys had, just the kebabi before, they'll get just 10 kebabi with a little fries and they'll order a small Shupska on the side. Okay, so you do, you do We do that, yes, here? yes. So do the Macedonians in this area participate in any big festivals where they're all dressed in costume and eating all the traditional foods? Well, a couple of years ago, there was actually one here by the Century Field in Garfield. Uh -huh. They had a festival, an actual Macedonian festival. Yeah. I mean, we have picnics for different holidays. Oh, you do? Yeah, there's different picnics going on. I believe there's about three or four of them a year, mm -hmm. three picnics, main picnics for different holidays. And then you got your Easter, your Christmas, all of that stuff. So for Easter, what do you do? What's what? Is it a lamb? Yes. Yeah. Do you do lambs for Easter? Uh -huh. Any special kind of baked goods? All of the stuff you see here, you got the baklo, the sweets, the, the other stuff, the dulumbi, I believe, that they, that they have. Uh, it's, when you look at it, it's, it, it's based a lot of on food, you know? A lot of, a lot, of, they sit down, they eat, like Saturday night, I believe it's Saturday night for Easter, we go to the church, we do this walk around the church three times with the priest in front of us and then you come home, it's tradition. Like, I can't go out until I go home and have dinner with my family. Mm -hmm. And that'll be at 2 o'clock in the morning. But it's it's just, it's tradition. Tradition? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so you're a young person. I mean, yeah. you know, the grandmothers make all these things from scratch, but are the young people making this time? I mean, it's a lot of work. I mean, some of them do. I mean, I take it from my mother. So yeah, I she know. taught you how to do them. Yeah, and, and I like doing and it. And you like doing it. Yeah. Okay. Some I've been cooking my whole life. Oh, so you cook this too? Do you I, do the baking also? I help out with the baking. I mean, I've, I've been working pizza for a while. Uh -huh. I've been doing it since I was 13. So okay. I, I understand with the whole baking, the budik and the bani and stuff like that. I mean, uh -huh. it's it's a different procedure, but if I sat down and actually played around with it, I, I'd learn how to do it with, you know, without a problem. But I help my father out with the meats and all of that stuff. That stuff, it's going to stay in my family forever. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> so I'm trying to find the traditional masculine wife. Maybe she'll know this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> this is Phil Pasatino for Delicious Detectives. Signing off. I'm full. Dona Dobro. I'm Carol Carroll for Delicious Detectives. On the scene at the Shop Express in Garfield with Delicious Detectives. <laughs>